Good morning everybody, welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to another Scrapping the Little Things. Okay, today I decided to do a page in my smash book. I've been meaning to do something like this because this year was the first year I was able to sponsor my um, one of my boys. I wish I, I was able to do it when they were both on the same team a few years ago, but um, I wasn't able to and I could kick myself for not doing it. Um, so anyways, I was able to sponsor one of them this year, so I was so excited. Um, Little League, is it's our, the season's over already, but I'm just now getting around to um, scrapping the, the actual pictures, okay? So I'm going to show you all the items I used for my scrapbook page today. I used my favorite stitched tab die. Love this, okay? Then I mixed it up with one of my older dies. This is the scallop and stitch circle dies. It does come with two dies. And if you're familiar with all of my all around stamp sets, like I have all around birthday, all around Halloween, all around Christmas, all around birthday, um, all around goodies, I think it's called. I have, then I have in, in a lot of the stamp sets, I do have some circle sentiments that will fit into here. So since it's for a boy page, I didn't add this. This is the layer that you could layer like um, like so right on top of it. I didn't add that since it's for a boy. I just used the actual stitch circle by itself. And then I used my stitched round speech bubble dies. I used that die right there. And then for my speech, the stitched square speech bubbles, I used this long rectangle one right there. And then I cut out my picture, one of my pictures using the stitched journal die. And it looks really pretty because when I, um, what I did was I, I sized it in the computer to a four by six because there was a lot of going on in the background. So this way, when I went to cut it out, I was able to cover up only the portion that I really needed. And that's what I did with this. And it looks really pretty with the stitching, so I'll show you that in a minute. And then I used one of my older sets. This is my sports sentiment. I love this set, especially if you, all of you um, moms and daddies out there who have little athletes, um, you know, who play sports and all that good stuff. Um, I use this stamp set here, and I believe, okay, I use this one here. I use the dedication plus motivation equals success. And then I also use this one here, my little, my little athlete. I thought that was too cute, so I had to use that. It's my favorite one out of all of that. Um, and then I used Grand Slam. Um, I used baseball is not a game. It's a way of life. And this is that circle sentiment that I had put on that stitch circle die. And then I used um, Little League. And then I used the baseball. And then I also used the um, this baseball sentiment along with this little baseball guy right there. And then I used my stitched 4x6 journal dies. Basically, I used the 4x6 die to cut out the picture of the team. And then I used the numbers to put the year 2013. So I'm going to quickly show you that really fast. And then before I open this, I actually had a question because someone saw me take this off here the other day. And they were like, where did you get that Smashbook closer from? It's nothing specific, everybody. I basically like to use what I have. I don't. If there's something that comes out that has to go with this that'll help it close it, I don't like to run out and buy everything. I basically just use what I have. And believe it or not, <laughs> this is one of those little hairband things that you put in your hair as a little, you know, like a little headband. <laughs> so why not use it for this, right? So this is it right here. I just doubled it up because it's big. You know, it's one of those big ones and it's stretched out. So I just double it up. And it closes it perfectly. You don't need to go out and buy anything special, trust me. Okay, so I'm going to get directly, let's see, let me find my page. Here it goes, right here. I love the way it came out. So we'll start from the, oopsie, we'll start from the top here. So basically this is what I did, did that circle sentiment on. So what I did was I layered that circle die onto the actual round, one of the bigger round speech bubbles. And then I went ahead and stamped Little League onto the rectangle one, and there goes the 2013. Now this is what I was talking about. I'm not sure if you can see all the stitching in the pictures. Isn't that pretty? That's what I did. So now for this picture, 
I sized it to five by seven so I could put the four by six perfectly around the actual picture. So I'm not sure if you can see this very good or not, but there goes little Anthony Wright. It's my Anthony Wright in the middle holding up the sign. And then, um, and then this was the actual banner from the um, team. And there goes my creative time right there with my Live, Laugh, Create right below that. And then here goes the little guy that they actually used for my stamp set. And I'll show you that in a second. So I stamped right here, dedication plus motivation equals success. And that little guy is the little stamp that they used from this set. How cute is that? So basically, I just stamped him there. And then I put on the stitch tab, I put my little athlete right there, right up against Anthony. And this is my favorite picture of him. He knows not showing his face. He says, Mommy, you have to take a picture of me pointing to you. <laughs> so he took it, his, you see his little thumbs are pointing to my creative time. So priceless, I had to put that in here. So I thought that was too cute because that was his idea. And then right here, what I did was I left some space. So remember, when you're attaching your pictures, everybody, not just necessarily to your smash booking or to even for like your layouts, leave some empty space right there just so you could put something there. So what I did is I used my little file folder. I went ahead and I stamped the baseball on there. And then I put my little journaling in here. And I, oh, you know what else I used? Hold on one second. I almost forgot the most important items. I used my new um, stitched file folder and index cards. I used that as well as my stitched round tab arrow and tag dies, okay? And that's what I used for this as long as well as the cute, this is the little, that little, um, this one here and it fits perfectly into the little, the little file folder just like so. And I went ahead and I used this little cutie patootie little Tim Holtz paper clip, just like so. And then I just stuck it right there in that little pocket. Okay, super duper cute. I love how this came out. Um, so anyways, um, I am going to make another video. I had questions because a lot of you got your orders already. My mother did an amazing job just getting everything out. Um, so anyways, I've had questions on the type calendar. Remember, I was going to show you an easy way to, to use that calendar. Um, I didn't do anything last week after the blog hop because seriously, I was completely wiped out and I, and I had to clean my craft room. Um, you couldn't even walk in my craft room. It looked like a bomb exploded in here. So basically, that's what I did. I, I, even though I was tired, I figured I need to do something other than crafting. I need to fix my craft room. So what I did was I basically reorganized. It took me two days straight to do it. I, it could have taken me longer, but um, I wanted just to get it done. So basically, what I did was I cleaned my room. I organized it. I have like another... Um, my husband, we decided to take off the doors in my craft room because the doors, they are like little French doors and they open and I have a bunch of stuff just behind the doors. You, I only had one of the doors open all the time. So it's a huge difference now. So now I have like a little shower curtain rod and for what, $6.99 and little curtains for $14.99, a super quick, cheap makeover in here. So I just have that kind of opened up. It looks really pretty, by the way, so I share that with you. So anyways, that's what I've been busy doing. So I didn't get a chance to do my um, video on that, but I will do it um, this week for sure, okay? I'm not gonna tell you what day because Whenever I say a day and if something happens, I can't do it. I feel bad for even opening my mouth and telling you that. So um, it will get done this week for sure. I promise. Okay, everybody. So I hope you enjoyed my smash book page I did for you today. Don't forget to visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my amazing design team has done for you today. So thank you so, so much, everybody. Um, and also look on my blog for all of the winners, okay? I don't have that in front of me here. Um, I have all the winners from the blog hop um, on my blog. So anyways, everybody, have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.